Hi everybody, I'm Ryan. Today we're going to look at the Pioneer metagame because the Mana Trader series is this weekend, which is Pioneer and actually for the first time ever is open to anyone. I mean, you don't have to qualify for it, which is really, really exciting. And so in honor of the Mana Trader series being this weekend and the RCQ season being Pioneer, we should look at the most popular decks in Pioneer. As a small side note, these are the most popular decks from 5-0s in Leagues, 4-0s and 3-1s in Prelims, and Top 32s in Challenges. Um, so this is a pseudo-winner's metagame, keep that in mind. The most popular deck, to no one's surprise, in Pioneer is Rakdos Midrange. Followed very, very, very closely by Blue-White Control, and then a small gap, and then a Nykthos Green Ramp deck. The last time we did a Pioneer metagame, which was either last week or the week before, uh, Blue-White Control had made a huge surge in popularity, truly contending with Rakdos's popularity. Um, so it's no surprise seeing those as one and two again. I think the big surprise is the Nykthos Ramp deck becoming more and more popular, because Nykthos Ramp had nearly totally fallen off the map, at least on Magic Online. And so seeing that deck come back is both really cool if you play it, really bad if you don't. I think it's likely that Nykthos Ramp became more popular because of the increased popularity of Zang Greasefang, and it's kind of like an ebb and flow situation of like the format responding to itself, because Karn is just insane against Greasefang. But in any case, let's look at the top three most popular decks and what they're trying to do. As always, Rakdos Midrange is your classic black Jundi mid-range deck um it plays creatures that do a little bit more than what they are on the surface it plays hand destruction plays removal spells and tries to win the game that way um specifically off of fable the mirror breaker because it's just so much value in one card which is exactly what black red wants there's not much to talk about this deck if you've played pioneer you you understand this deck this deck's extremely powerful it's championed by some of the better content creators in the game like misplaced ginger and will likely continue to be a mainstay in pioneer the second most popular deck, Blue-Eye Control, is again a very classic strategy. Uh, basic Blue-Eye Control, <laughs> counter spells, board wipes, uh, some removal spells like March of Otherworldly Light, and extremely powerful Planeswalkers to end the game with. Um, this is a strategy that is in every format that has ever existed and will continue to be very good in Pioneer because it'll always be fine just like the mid-range deck. And then maybe the least boring deck as far as like strategies we've seen before, uh, the Nykthos Ramp deck um, plays Mana Dorks, plays a ton of ramp to be able to play big dumb guys, and then abuse those big dumb guys with Nykthos and like Storm the Festival to cheat even more bodies onto the battlefield, and then has a combo kill with Karn the Great Creator tutoring out uh, combo pieces and Kiora or Teferi sometimes, um, giving infinite mana to your deck to eventually kill in a few different ways, most of the time as milling you out by gaining a bunch of life on the backside of Cauldron and, and keep bringing things back, and then eventually milling you out on the front side of Cauldron. It's an extremely powerful, extremely potent deck that you just can't play in Pioneer without a plan against. And if it goes unchecked, it'll kill you very, very quickly and overwhelm the board very, very quickly. But that's the overall meta. Let's look at the top eight meta, which looks sort of similar, but is drastically different in other ways. Rakdos Midrange destroyed the challenges this past weekend, putting significantly more decks in top eight than the rest of the field. Uh, in a close second was Azorius Control and actually Is It Creativity, and then other decks um, sparsely populated the top eight. Um, we've already talked about Azorius Control and uh, Rakdos Midrange, so let's talk about Is It Creativity. So Is It Creativity is not the combo kill deck that Reed Duke played at the Pro Tour. It's not the Atraxa version. Is It Creativity is way back to the original version of Creativity in, in this format with Torrential Gear Hulk and Magma Opus, where you make treasures with Magma Opus and a couple other ways, and then you Creativity into Gear Hulk and flashback Magma Opus. It is super disgusting and like super, super powerful. Um, I'm not sure what the best version of Creativity is between Atraxa combo or Is It, but this version did well in multiple tournaments and I could see its return. Maybe with the combo version that Reed Duke did well with as proof of concept that creativity is a good thing. And then moving closer to the mid-range version of creativity, which is what did well this past weekend. So if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe. I do metagames every single week in a bunch of different formats. Check me out on social medias, especially on Twitch where I stream there pretty much every day. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.